Those dogs were crazy. They were all over Kyle. I don't know if you saw that. Or not. They were. With the start of the new school year, I wanted to send my producer, Jesse Sisson, out on campus to see what Marshall students did over their summer break. It didn't really uh, work out as planned. I heard there was ice cream involved. There is ice cream involved. Take a look. Tasty. Okay, so I'm just trying to get a feel for what, you know, Marshall students have been doing over the summer. Did you do anything exciting this summer? I went to Nashville and made a recording at the Ryman. Really? You, so, so far you've won. That's been the most interesting thing that anyone's done. Well, because I sat down with you, so now you have to talk to me. I don't like how I got smashed into this. You don't like how you got, I mean, I kind of. I feel pretty pressured right now. It's peer pressure at its best. I'm teaching you a lesson, really. Okay. In peer pressure. All right. So right now you're gonna give in, but later just say no. Okay. Okay. This started out as like I wanted to know what you did over the summer, but nobody does anything okay. over the summer. So, do you are you aware of the free ice cream situation that we've got going on out here? I didn't know what it was, but you just told me. So cool. Free ice cream. Are you aware for the free of the free ice cream situation okay, so that we've got? So a Catholic priest and and a, and a rabbi. Uh, are walking by a playground, and, and the, uh, the rabbi says to the priest, hey, uh, there's a bunch of little kids, and he says, let, let, let's go over there and, let's go over there and, um, uh, the priest says to the rabbi, sorry, the priest says to the rabbi, um, So, are you aware of the free ice cream situation that we've got going on? No. You didn't notice the tent in the middle of the student center? I didn't know it was for ice cream, but now I might go since it is. Do you have any theories as to why someone might be giving out free ice cream? To make friends. Are you going to get free ice cream? Are you going to participate? I already had my ice cream. Do you know what the ice cream is for? No. no. <laughs> Nobody knows what the ice cream is for. <laughs> no, I would never. I would never do something like that. Oh. <laughs> what? I'm, you, okay. I'm okay. I'm I recovered. That's the fourth one today. Do you know why there's ice cream? <laughs> do you know why there's free ice cream? Why? Yeah. Is, is there like a, a, a special kind of significance to the ice cream? I feel like there should be. Who gives out free ice cream for no well, reason? Well, I, I think it has to do with uh, the with the, Mar the the Marshall legacy. We are, we are Marshall. We are free ice cream. And we are, we are Marshall ice cream. <laughs> do you know why you got that free ice cream? No, I don't. So you just got the free ice cream. <laughs> Nobody here knows why they're getting free ice cream. <laughs> Women equality. Is that what it is? Women equality. You are eating strawberry ice cream for women equality. How do you feel about that? Good. And back in 1974, when when Keith Morehouse and I were in third grade, playing football on the desktop, you know, ice cream was a big part of our lives. And as as and and Keith and I, we we are Marshall, and uh, we are ice cream. Thank you very much. It was enlightening. <laughs> that was Jesse on campus. Free ice cream. Did you like that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. me and a rabbi and, and Keith Morehouse. And Dropped a name right there. You see that? Uh, Pick it up. Now leave it there. Leave it there. My next guest is here to perform his original song, Still Ain't Over You Yet. He's just back from a tour of duty in the Middle East. You can hear more of his music at myspace.com slash jeff.ellis. This guy is very good. He is here performing with Bud Carroll and the Southern Souls. Please welcome Jeff Ellis. But 
Sometimes I can't be talked back down 